Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy, and today we're going to be customizing this car. This is the Fathom FR36. It's based on the Infinity Q36. So, uh, an Infinity car, another Infinity car in GT Online. We have the Fathom FQ2 as well, which is a, a day one vehicle. It's like a big SUV. I'm sure you've all seen that vehicle. So, it's nice to see another Infinity vehicle in GT Online. Personally, I quite like the look of this thing, it does look pretty cool. Um, let's have a quick look on the website at how much this thing costs. It is on Southern San Andreas Autos. Um, this thing costs 1.6 million, so it's not too expensive, especially compared to the Vigero convertible, which we customized in the last video, um, but certainly not the cheapest vehicle in this DLC either. But it does have some decent customization. Uh, so let's take this thing up to the custom shop and have a little look what it can do. Okay, so we're going to fully upgrade this thing uh, so we can see how it performs. Front bumper options to start with. Um, we've got the stock front bumper. We can add a little splitter down there. It's, it already has a splitter, but we can paint it in primary. We got the street Making bumper, which looks a lot better in my opinion. We got the drift kit, which adds some like canards. We got a nice intercooler down there. We got the tuner bumper. We got the tuner bumper with drift kit. Uh, we got the race spec, which is like really open. Uh, we got the race spec with drift kit. We got the vented bumper. We got the vented hard. with drift kit. So it adds the intercooler. We've got a tow hook as well this time. We've got the flared bumper. Flared with drift kit. The square bumper. A squared opening bumper. And we've got that one with a drift kit. So we can make this thing into a proper drift car. Which is what I think we're going to do. Um, let me see here. Life I quite home, like this. Anything. Or do I prefer this? No, I do quite like this flared bumper with drift kit. I think that makes it look more. It's a little it makes it look a bit wider. Makes it look more like a drift car. Um, rear bumper options. So we got the stock bumper. It does have like two exhausts standard. We go for primary in that. No rush. Uh, so this is actually like diffusers. So we can go primary with diffuser. Uh, we can actually have a cutout rear bumper. We have cut out with diffuser. We can have rear bumper with diffuser, so it's like built in. Uh, we can have that with a drift diffuser. We can have the bumper with diffuser and vents. We can have a drift diffuser on that. We can have a tuner rear bumper. We have tuner bumper with drift diffuser. We got the flared bumper. That is hideous. <laughs> Not a fan of that. We got that with a drift diffuser um, and then we got the low low and cutout so it like extends it but it has a cutout we can have that with a diffuser we've got low cutout with vents we've got that one with a diffuser as well um, I quite liked which one was it uh, not that one which one was it that one that looks quite good like diffuser built into the spoiler into the bumper sorry and it has those little vents behind the rear wheels. Looks quite good. We'll fully upgrade the engine. Kind of engine like Exhaust on. options. It has these nice two chrome ones standard. We can get the long pipes. We got those in titanium as well. Titanium big bore. Chrome big bore. Got the titanium short tip pipes. Carbon ones. We can have the blast pipes. And we can have straight blast pipes. I'm just going to go for these ones the chrome big ball not really a fan of titanium exhaust i have to be honest even when you're building a tuna car i don't think it looks right uh fenders we can go for um stock fenders we can delete the reflector on the side we can go for some vents 
We can go for swooped vents. They look quite good. That definitely makes it look more drift car-ish. Uh, we can go for tuner fenders, which has like a cutout. We have that with a drink? carbon insert Bubbles or secondary or insert. I'm just going to go for the swooped, the swoop vent fender. Don't that looks quite good. Pretty. Grill options. We got this horrible chrome grill. We can black that out. That already looks much better. We can go for chrome without the logo. We can go for black without the logo. We can go for primary painted stock. We can go for primary without the logo. Then we got the streets street grill surround and we got a secondary version of that i'm just going to go for the blacked out but i'm going to keep the logo i, I do still like having logos ahead. on cars even if you black them out uh, hood options we've got a quite a smooth hood going on we need to make that better so we can go for the aftermarket hood it's quite clean still but it looks looks a lot more sporty got a carbon version of that we got the angled vent hood we got a carbon version of that we got the street hood which has like if hood pins and it, vents and stuff I can do it. we got a carbon version of that then we got the tuna hood which is hideous and a carbon version of that i think i'm just gonna go for this to be honest it looks kind of stock but sporty I've got that installed. which is not really the build i'm going for maybe i should go for like this it looks a bit more crazy uh nah i, I prefer this i think this looks good uh, we've got horn and lights. We've got some livery options. So we can go for a fathom stripes. Two black stripes over the side and fathom on the side. Uh, that looks quite good. Uh, we've got the anise stripes. Okay. Well, it's not an anise stressful. vehicle. So why have we got anise stripes? That's a bit odd. Uh, we can flip that. So it paints the whole car black. And then whatever you want as the primary color is the stripe. And we've got the anise version of that. Uh, we got flames and flip fli flipped frames. Flames, sorry, that's a bit hard to say. We got Fukaru Excelsior Racing. That's quite a cool livery, actually. We got Device hard. Racing ten Tension Tagged. It's kind of like graffiti. It's quite cool. We got Atomic Racing. It's quite a clean one. I like that. Uh, we've got Cabell. I'm not sure what Cabell is. I think that's supposed to be like Karen, maybe. No idea. Uh, we've got Junk Racing. We've got Hyper Function Suspension. That's quite a cool livery, actually. I like that. It's like a clean racing livery. Um, we've got the Anis Racing. Again, I don't, know, I don't know why they're having... It's quite a cool livery, but I don't know why they've got Anis when it's a Fathom vehicle. And finally, we've got Tribal Junk. That's quite a cool one as well, actually. I like that. Um, we haven't gone for a livery on any of the vehicles i built so far that I can remember. No, so, I, I feel like we should on this, and I quite like this. The Excelsior Racing one, so we'll go with that. Mirror options, we've got these standard mirrors. We've got primary ones. We've got race ones, which are like these little ones. Go for a carbon version of that. We got a secondary version of that. Then we got the tuner in carbon and in secondary. I'm gonna go for the tuner mirrors. Um, How many cars you got and I'm gonna put them in again? secondary because I want to make them white to match the body or whatever color we do the body color. Uh, plate options. If you haven't seen this yet, we can get green plates and red plates now, which are quite cool. Uh, we'll come back to the respray at the end, but there is primary, secondary, and there is trim colour, which just changed the middle bit of the seat, so that's quite cool. Do you need a drink? Uh, we can add a cage to this something? thing, so let's have a little look in here. So we've got standard cage, we got a uh, padded cage with carbon seats, we got like with race seats, we got our track seats, and then we got those in different colours, uh, and they're all padded. Um, I guess since we're kind of going for like a race car rebuild on this, we should probably go with whatever you desire. A cage and Technology stuff. And um, I'm gonna go for this one. I think that looks quite good with the green seat belts, the green harness. Uh, roof options. We got stock roof. We can go for a carbon. That looks quite cool actually. 
I just noticed those flames are kind of backwards, though, on the roof. I think they should have been facing the other way. If you can the same it, on the bonnet, actually. Those flames are actually facing the wrong way. But anyway, uh, we got the secondary roof. We got the roof mounted spoiler in carbon and in secondary. We got the roof scoop. We got that in carbon and in secondary. And we got the roof scoop with the spoiler in carbon and secondary. We got the street roof scoop. Making in decisions ca is uh, Carbon and secondary. Then we got that with the spoiler in carbon and secondary. Um, I think we're just going to go for the scoop in like primary. Your cosmetics are on point. Uh, skirt options. So we can extend the skirts. That looks much better actually. So we've got stock skirts, flat skirts, carbon flat. We've got the street ones there. We've got carbon street, race. That actually looks quite good. We've got carbon version of that. We've got the tuna ones. Got carbon ones of those. We got race spec skirt. That looks quite cool. The little um, Think long and hard. scoop bit on the side. I like those. We got that in carbon. We got flared skirt. We got that in carbon as well. We got the arch extending. Oh, okay. So that kind of bolts onto the arches. That looks quite good. We got that in carbon as well. Um, and then we got the drift skirt got that in carbon as well I actually do like that drift skirt Life it matches quite well with the sort of cut out in the fender there so we'll go with that as as uh, spoiler options we need a big wang on the back of this thing let's go for that so we got a ducktail we got carbon ducktail we got molded trunk lip if you just want to make this thing like stock but a bit beefier uh, we got a carbon molded we got a large trunk lip sort of molded as well got that in carbon we got the fathom spoiler no it's kind of like a stock sport spoiler it's good we got that in carbon as well we got the low wing we got the carbon low wing okay so we've got like a gloss carbon and then the matte carbon we got the raised wing <laughs> that's quite tall carbon raised street wing carbon street wing big wang Carbon big wang, and then we got these rear mounted ones, again? which I'm not a fan of. I think we're just gonna go for. I was gonna go for one of these, but I do quite like this, to be honest. Nah, we'll go for one of these. We're building a race car, so we need Body a big spoiler. Uh, sun strips. We got no sun strip, secondary painted, primary sun strip, plastic sun strip. Fukaru, black Fukaru, Mine Mach, black Mine Mach, white power metal, and black power metal. I'm gonna go for this one because it like matches the livery. She is hot. Suspension is fairly low to start with, but we can oh my god, we can actually slam this thing. That makes it look a lot Should more like a drift right car. It adds a bit of camber to the wheels as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, we'll go ahead and put this thing on. Uh, we'll go race transmission. We'll slap on the turbo. The uh, wheels. I do like these wheels. Um, I don't know if there's any of these wheels like standard. Uh, or ones that are kind of similar to this. Let's go with those. And we'll paint those. What does it look like in white? Okay, that looks a bit weird. Uh, what would it look like in orange? Hmm. I think we'll just go with, we won't go black, we'll go like there, black steel, that looks good. Uh, windows are already quite dark, but we'll tint those out a little bit better. And there we go, that is my build for this thing. Um, let's actually have a quick look at the respray, but I do quite like the white already, to be honest. Uh, ooh, the gold actually does look quite good though. Um, the black, not really a fan. Red with the orange looks a bit odd. Orange with orange looks a bit weird. Um, Whatever you desire. Yeah, not really Technology feeling any of those. I think the white honestly looks the best. Uh, let's change up the secondary color though. So the secondary color is, uh, okay, the roll cage. So I guess we'll make that white as well. 
I swear Dude, I changed the stuff. mirrors though. Did I not make those? Yeah, secondary. Why are they black when I've made the secondary white? Who knows? But anyway, there we go. That is the car build. Uh, so let's take it outside, let's see how it performs, and see what it looks like in the daylight. Alright, here we are outside. Um, let's see, it is rear wheel drive, okay. It looks very, very, like, tunery now that we've got it outside. Let's see what kind of performance this thing has. Don't hit the big SUV. Um, it's a bit slower than I was expecting, to be honest. It's not massively quick take it on the motorway you can actually get it up to a bit of speed but yeah I was honestly expecting more from this thing it's quite slow what category is this thing in okay it is in the coops which is unusual um, so I was thinking it was in sport because it wouldn't be very competitive in sport it might be quite competitive in coops uh, I don't really know that category very well. I don't know what the fastest car in there is. I'm imagining probably the shaft of E12 is quite fast. Um, so yeah, it's a, a pretty cool looking vehicle. I do have to say, I am a fan of the looks of this thing. Um, it's an unusual car. I wasn't really expecting Rockstar to add this thing, but I'm kind of happy that they did. It has some great customization. You can do a lot of different builds with this thing. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this vehicle? Are you going to be buying it? Do you like the customization? Are you happy Rockstar added it? Or do you wish they didn't add it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And whilst you're down there, why not slap the like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you're new for more videos just like this one. That's going to do it from me though. Thanks all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.